There it is. That one did it. Out here on the back porch my kids got all their fighting supplies out here <laughs> lightsabers guns got the uh, LMT here this thing has been through quite a bit this is the original one that I got uh, before they came out and it's just been through everything so what do I have on here I have the JER 3d printed axle braces on here you guys have been asking if I've run them I hadn't yet because of the weather here so this is the first run we're going to get them on. It's a little cold out today, not too bad. And uh, we'll get a temperature reading for you in a minute. But um, yeah, we're going to see how these do. We have them on the front and rear. The Freecell RC ones did awesome. So we know that those things definitely work. I did over 150 flips in uh, the video I did testing them. Uh, plus other stuff that I've been doing with it and those things are beast now It's time to see how these do so they're blue so that you guys can see them. They do come in green. They come in black uh, But they just mount right in here with a couple screws bolts We've got the new uh, gen 2 smart batteries here. We've got two of them 50 C 5,000 milliamp hour Again guys my trick for the battery here is the strap you take it you squeeze and pull, get a little slack on it. You can pull it pretty far. You just kind of use your finger to guide it down there. So easy to do. I know uh, some people are having tr troubles trying to reach around and do a whole bunch of stuff, but the squeeze method works best. Here we go. You can see the tractors out. I've been working a little bit out here. So these are going to get a test on the, uh, the new setup. Right here, everything's still a little bouncy. <laughs> I haven't graded all this yet. Oh, did all this yet? Oh, grease that though. So you can see it's kind of a bouncy approach. So I got a couple of different hits on this. Trying to make it seem a little bit more of a scale jump. Not trying to launch it forever into the yard off it. Although you could, and I've got this one set up as well. Ooh, it's a hard hit on that front. Still stock servo, still stock servo saber right now on this one. Those are just a little too steep. We'll have to tame them down. But the, the rain and everything will help as well. I'm gonna put another jump right there eventually. Oh, nice. That was real nice. Again, we are just testing axle brakes here. So. Seeing how they will do.
king pins are slipping. Squeeze them back in. There we go. <laughs> it just gets so squirrely in a cool way. Taking two hits. Somehow I got turned off and showing you guys how to do it. I shouldn't be able to hold it. Alright, every time I flip it over, I'm gonna check these kingpins. Make sure they're in there. Slip in and back in.
All right, we're gonna try and set this thing to forward reverse again. All right, it was not set right. It was not forward reverse, now it is. So we should just be able to hold reverse in the air, get the wheels to break, and then hopefully wind up in reverse faster than the other way. But I don't know that it's gonna work that, that well. We'll see. Ooh, that was a hard front end hit. Yeah, so I don't have to do the double tap. Now. So once I get in the air, I just hold reverse. And it'll try and go into reverse. But it still has a delay. So it's not that much faster, it's just less tapping. I can just hold it from the second it hits the ground and hope I get the pop I need. That was pretty cool. Because you need the, that motor to be able to stop before it'll hit. It's pretty quick in trying to do it. Now it's just about getting that right pop off the uh, flip. Ooh, kingpin. Ooh, almost lost it. It's out. All of them are almost out. There we go. Doesn't seem to be switching out as fast as some other ones do in this setting. There it is. That one did it. But I will say it's not like uh, this mode is too hard to drive without brakes. I mean, these reverses are really hard on that, the way that those wheels are slamming around. Let's give these axles a look over. All right, so we hit the lipo cutoff mode. Now we're just gonna look over these axles for cracks. We got the uh, consistent ones here. Those have been there. Um, I mean, overall, I don't see anything. These casings have been flexed and broke right there, but what happened here? Uh, I think we actually broke the broke the mount. It looks like this is pulled away. Yeah, so it actually broke off right there. Both of the front ones broke there. The rear ones look as look pretty good. I did I did nose in pretty hard a couple of times. Um, but there's definitely a break on both of these lips here that tie it to the axle underneath the links. So those little tabs that wrap broke off. So uh, no breakage on the axles, gave it a good bash. The axle brace did, um, did end up breaking on me, but, uh, you know, overall the bash was pretty good, pretty hard on it. And, um, that 3D print, that little, that little area there, cause it's kind of a thin tab, uh, cracked away from the main part of the brace. So, 
Um, that's what we got there. We'll get in touch with uh, Jason, see if there's possibility of thickening that or what might be done. He's probably testing his now as well. He's got a running truck. Um, and so these were prototypes uh, that were sent out to me. And um, I'm sure he's testing as well, get it squared away. So such fun trucks to drive. Gave it a good little beating here in the backyard. We'll keep trying to dress this up a little bit more. Uh, I gotta definitely smooth it out back here, get a rake on it and uh, have some fun ripping. Anyway guys, have fun RC and catch you next time.